And it's time now for some tech news. The future of farming is here in Utah, all thanks to something called robotic vertical farming. Hmm. We want to hear more about this. And our tech reporter Jordan Hogan joins us live this morning to explain how this works in a story you'll only see here. Good morning, Jordan. Nice to have you back with us. Good morning, Amy and John. Yes, so this technology, it's very interesting. A local farm is working with a local tech company and they're trying to make feeding the animals more efficient. And in this tower, it actually grows plants inside of it. Check it out. Bateman and Mosita Farms produces milk and meat from their cows. But raising them takes a lot of feed and a lot of time. Now technology is making part of the process easier. These Olympus Tower farms are a form of robotic vertical farming. The key is you can eliminate the weather challenges. It gives you a predictable, optimized crop every time. It starts with the seeds being loaded into trays. Then they're wheeled up to the top of the tower to start a six-day journey to the bottom of it for harvest. Along the way, they are watered with precision and given light from special LEDs that don't give off any heat. The whole process is automated too. GroveTech says each one of these produces 6,000 pounds of food each time it goes through its cycle. And that's through saving money and time and water and energy. And the benefits don't stop there either. They are then passed on to the consumer. Each of these machines represent between 35 and 50 acres of land. So in this case here, 50 acres, 875 feet, and 95% less water. Saving water and space is something that's becoming increasingly important as the demand for more homes increase and climate change increases the chances for extreme drought in the summer months. One of the biggest challenges farmers have around the world is how do they deal with the weather and the climate and the uncertainties uh, that come with that. This new technology couldn't have come at a better time for the farm either. In the first weeks and, and first months of COVID, things started to go uh, a little bit crazy. Brad Bateman is one of the farming operations partners at Bateman Mercedes Farms. He says the farm wasn't able to order in a lot of their feed at the beginning of the pandemic, threatening the cow's food supply. Certain states were not letting trucks in and, and we just the whole supply chain was disrupted. Now they can rely on their own production of feed and it's a model that could be adopted beyond farms in the future. Well, the vision that, that I would think that I see is is there's probably one of these in the, in the back of every supermarket growing uh, fresh food right in the store. So Grove Tech told me that they're actually planning on rolling this out here and seeing how it does before they roll it out worldwide. But John and Amy, as for getting one of these into the back of every single grocery store, we'll just kind of have to see what the future holds for us. Still pretty fascinating yeah. to see. What a concept. Yeah, it could be the future of maybe urban farming, you know, a whole different way to look at things. And All a great right. way to save some resources.